Jeff, I love meeting with you because you always know these cool, hip, fun places to eat. And today's no exception. And sometimes you go where your kids lead you. It's the path of least resistance. So where are we eating today? I'm taking you to a place with divine possibilities. Ooh, sounds interesting. <laughs> Hallie, this is Damien, the president Hello. of Hi, Damien. Pasta. Hi, Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. The title is amazing, so I can only assume you're amazing. Tell us about um, Divine Possibilities. Okay. Um, Divine Possibilities has been around since 2002. Um, we started off with this concept called a tour pasta, and it's basically a hollow garlic bread with different pasta dishes inside. We also do them with salads and cheese sticks, um, but that's kind of the concept I had as a little kid, and still going. Yeah, it sounds like so much fun because I know as a little kid you do stuff like what, put chips in your sandwich. So was that how this was? You were just like having a sandwich and you would put pasta in your sandwich? Or how no, that I, I would just always eat uh, pasta with bread, like on a piece of garlic bread or regular bread, and I would try to fold it over and eat it and it would just fall out and make a mess. And then one day, uh, the elementary school I was at served a dinner roll and I just hollowed out the roll, stuffed the spaghetti inside and ate it that way. And it was just all neat, no, nothing fell out, it was tidy. So. From then on, I said, Mom, buy rolls, you know, and I would just keep doing it. And as I got older, it would evolve into like garlic bread rolls and more different varieties of pasta and things like that. And then when I got into my uh, college age, I guess I was making it for roommates and family members and they're like, this is good, you, you could do this, you know, like as a cart or something. And so that kind of got the business idea in my head. And then I, you know, worked in cubicle land as an academic counselor for six years or so and thought I could come back to this someday. I'm going to risk it and go try this and see what happens. And I'm still going. So like a natural yeah. transition from like academia to a restaurant, you know, like that yeah, happens yeah. all the time and it, yeah. and it works out. And you've been here, what, 17 years now? Almost. In 17 years. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. This looks incredible. Tell us about, so it's called tor pasta because it's kind of like pasta mixed with? A torpedo, like a, a torpedo, torpedo sandwich kind of, but we, yeah. So torpedo with pasta is basically the, where the name's from. What are the, the best sellers, the most unique ones? Like can okay. every, is there something for everybody I'm assuming? I think so, we have we have vegan, vegetarian options. Um, we, we do have- what I have in front of me here? So this is a vegan one, yeah. Okay. It's uh, meatless meatballs, they're, they're like soy. Um, you've got spinach, garlic, I'm taking a little piece. Um, bell peppers, onions, it's uh, red wine marinara sauce, it's really Ooh, good. I love that it's getting messy already. Now, are you allowed to use a fork like she's doing, <laughs> or is that like it a It was designed here? to not need a fork. Okay. So yeah, I used to be really militant about it, like no fork. I know it's like a parent of kids that don't really love using utensils. This uh -huh. is right up their alley. Yeah. Yeah. Pick it up and go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it clean, here. but then it gets messy anyway. That's because you used a fork. I know, I know. <laughs> cardinal, cardinal sin over here. Right, okay, so that's that one. And this one is? Um, this is one of the tour salads. So we also, if you want something lighter, um, the salads are stuffed in there. This is the uh, spinach almond feta. You can add protein if you want or keep it vegetarian. A lot of the ones we have are flexible, so it could be vegetarian, pescatarian, yeah. um, or with you know a protein like chicken, meatballs, shrimp, um, sausage, your choice. Yeah. And, and this most, is your number one seller, right? This is the most popular, yeah. We make a fresh pesto every day. Um, it's, this is a creamy pesto with sun-dried tomatoes. We opted for chicken in it. Um, and this is definitely by far our best seller. And you're making your own pesto sauce? Yeah, in -house? all the sauces are made in-house wow. every day. Okay, so I have a question for you. You've got the torpedo roll. What happened to the middle of the roll? What are we doing with uh, that? So we do two things with it. We make croutons for the Caesar salad, and we also do the bread holes, which are kind of like the idea of a donut hole. Um, so it's just like, you know, a little, we put a little garlic butter and Parmesan and you dip it in the marinara sauce, but good way to use the center. Nothing, nothing wasted. Not I wasted. Them. Yeah. yeah, it looks like an amazing appetizer. So what else is on the menu? Is this pretty much what um, this place has we, to offer? We is also do uh, like a couple cheesesteak options. I, I call them steak and cheese because I <laughs> uncles from Philadelphia that would kill me if I don't do it the way <laughs> they want it done. But no, we, so we have uh, steak and cheese that comes in the hollow bread. There's the pepito style. It's the same thing, but we add avocado, tomato, jalapeno, okay. very California. And what, Another thing is like you don't just have to come to the restaurant to eat here, right? You're you're offering catering, you're doing weddings, birthday parties, oh, things yeah. like that. Yeah, we do a lot of just business lunches, uh, weddings, uh, school things. We go to all the universities and cater. That's so cool. Fair so enough. events like that. I mean, I work with weddings. Would people even at a wedding order something like this? Yeah, yeah. We usually do a big buffet of the different pastas and salads, and then as people walk up, we're stuffing it for them and. 
can do a mix match at weddings and stuff, and it's a lot of fun. I'm surprised so many people order torpastas for their weddings, but it's a good time. Yeah. Yeah. And that shirt looks like a good time over there too. What is that shirt all about? Um, so we get a lot of uh, people kind of making fun of the fact that it's all carbs. Mm -hmm. So I love carbs. I just kind of went with it. We have bumper stickers that say Atkins is dead. Um, <laughs> It's kind of mean, but I thought it was good. But it's actually, you know, the bread is hollowed out, and then the amount of pasta in this size is about only eight ounces. So it's really not as carb heavy as a big bowl of pasta with however many breadsticks you're gonna eat. Yeah. So it's lighter than you think, so I just sort of decided to be the antithesis of the Atkins diet. I will tell you that I have eaten here before, and like, I have a very hard time just eating one of these. So, uh, yeah. you know, sometimes you can, hey, well, you know, your wife and you split one, and you each get to sample another one. It's, it works out pretty well. Speak for yourself. I'm going to eat this all by myself, Jeff. You can't have none of this over here. Right, I have one more question for you. <laughs> Actually, I probably have more questions, but tell us, like, when you invented this sandwich, how did it end up in this stand? Oh, okay. So we used to serve them when we first started on a plate laying flat for dining. Okay. And uh, people would cut the bottom off, like a calzone. And I was just like, oh. So I, I had to come up with a way to force people to approach it the right way. Okay. And I had other designs. I finally designed this. This is phase one, and then phase two had the flat bottom stands. But yeah, the stands kind of force you to come at it in a vertical way and eat it the way and, it's intended. And you get to look at it, too. It's very like visually yeah, appealing, right? Don't they say you, like, you eat with your eyes to yeah, start? Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yep. So when you get these, they come in a stand if you're dining in. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's going to make you always feel like you're going to want to eat it like this, right? Yeah. Now when I eat a stand somewhere else, I'm going to be like, excuse me, yeah. I need a stand Because if this. you cut the bottom off, now you've got to just fall in through and the whole thing is right. pointless. Right. Fail I love proof. it. I love it. Yeah. Well, I don't want my food to get cold. I don't know about you. Um, this is amazing, incredible. I definitely want to dive in and hopefully on my way out, I'll be rocking one of those shirts. Oh yeah, for sure. I love car. Got the v-neck, tank okay. top. <laughs> Thanks, Damien. Oh yeah. You're welcome. Thanks so much.